welcome to Stitch Crazy. Um, today I'm going to go over the basics of sewing. Um, there are a few um, items that you will need to get started with sewing. Um, today's um, technology, we have um, easier tools to make sewing quicker, faster. Um, I'm going to kind of show you the basics on what you can do if you don't have these tools and, um, and what we would need. So, um, first of all, there are different kinds of cutting boards. And this is, I just brought a small one today, and this is called a self-healing board, so when you cut into it, it heals itself, okay? This is a small one. There's like three different sizes that you can get of these boards. Um, th this is 11 by 17, this one here. There's an 18 by 24, and then there's a 24 by 36. Um, they can start anywhere from $20 on up. What I usually do is I always wait for a coupon to get them at 50% off. That always helps. Okay, so one item you'll need is the cutting board. And the second item that you're going to be needing would be um, the cutting tools. And they have different um, acrylic boards. And we've got like squares, which you can start anywhere from two and a half to four, to six, six and a half, and twelve and a half. Depending on your project, which you will need for as far as if you need squares. There's also rulers, and you have the small ones that are three by 18. This one here is um, six by 11, and this one here is six by 24. If you don't have these rulers, we can always um, go the way they used to do them before these rulers were invented. And you use cardboard, file folders, other pieces of cardboard, depending on how thick you want. On these, we would draw with a pencil or pen whatever size we want. We would take just like a, say if you had a regular ruler, not these acrylic rulers, and we would measure the size. So for instance, I want um, a six inch square. I would take my regular ruler, I would take my pencil, I would mark it the six inches, then we would go the other way, find your, and go six inches. And same with go on this other side, measure the six inches, and then go across the top. Sometimes what I would do is I would mark, um, go along the line, mark the six on each side to make sure that we're getting this um, more even. And we would line up our lines and draw it across. Here we have a six inch square, just cut it out and then you can lay it on your material and you can um, do your project. Now you can make, like if this is a six inch, we could do the three, the two and a half, whatever size we would need for our project, okay? So that's what the cutting board, the rulers, and how to make the patterns if you don't have the uh, cutting, the acrylic tools. Um, we would need, oh, and there's also circles. And you can buy templates that are circles, and there's different sizes. But if you don't have these, um, you can go get like um, any item in your house that is a round circle, like your pots and pans, um, cups different items like that, you can use the cardboard and draw around it and cut them out. These are used um, for different projects. These are for yo-yos and they teach you how um, you different sizes make different size of yo-yos. And you can use these also for making the yo-yos, but you can also take these and just use these as a circle, okay? So those are a couple items. There's different types of scissors. We have like, this is a fabric scissors. 
And it's best to use a fabric scissor on fabric only or it will dull them. If you use them on paper, it will dull these faster. We have little scissors for just like clipping. And we have a heavy duty scissors um, for heavier fabric. I forgot to bring that today, but we do have those available. Um, there's different, like for when you're using these acrylic rulers, we have what you call a rotary cutter. These come in three different sizes also. Um, they come in um, the small, which is 0.7 to 1.10 inches. The medium is like 1.77 inches. And the other, the large, is 2.36. So there's three different sizes of the rotary cutters. And this is like a razor blade. So it cuts it just like a scissors. Okay, so that's the rotary cutters. I told you about the rulers. Get three months free access on all lines plus a new 4G smartphone for only $4.99 a month. Two great offers with Valley Cellular. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to take advantage of this great deal. Um, we'll need pencils for marking. Here's a pencil, here's a red pencil. When you're using the cardboard, you may want to use um, I always have a box of miscellaneous items with me. And there is what you call a dressmaker pencil. And that leaves like a white mark on your project. So like on your fabric, if you have the um, cardboard, then you would just go around like this and then you'd see your white line and then you'd cut it with the scissors, okay? And a lot of times the um, lead pencil is good for marking real thin lines. And then we also have, this is a needle threader. So if you can't see that little eye on your needle, this is a good little tool to have to thread your needle quicker. We need like a seam gauge. And then here's a little fabric, um, fabric ruler and it bends with, uh, with the fabric versus like a regular ruler. So, um, you'll also need fabric for your project. So, and there's different ways of buying fabric. We have quick tools nowadays where they're pre-cuts. This is a little packet of two and a half inches already pre-cut for you. And then these are what we would call, um, these are five inch and there's a name for them and I can't think of them right off the top of my head. Um, there's also, these are five by five and these are pre-cuts and they come in, there's like 40 of them in here. And then also you can buy different size of these packets. There's 10 inch ones, those are called layer cakes. These are charm packs, the five inch ones are charm packs. And then that's one way of buying fabrics. These are what you would call a, a fat quarter bundle because these pieces are 18 by 21 and there's a variety of fabrics in here. So this would be a fat quarter bundle. You can buy them that way. You can buy them by fat quarters, which is an 18 by 21 piece of fabric. So you can buy those separately by color. You can buy them by the half a yard or the full yard. Or what we have here is these are this is um, these are two and a half inch strips and this is also like a little bundle with coordinating fabrics that you can um, make a project with okay so that's kind of quick these are quick and easy if you know you're going to need all two and a half inch strips and you can just buy one of these and you got your project and depending on what size you may need one or two so these are just a few different ways that you can buy fabrics. And then of course we have all our scraps left over. So this is a scrap from another project that I had. So depending on if you are making a scrappy quilt, you may want to just go into your fabric stash is what we call it with leftover pieces from other projects. And then you can get a variety of different colors.
Valley is now offering updated digital TV packages and prices. High definition and caller ID is now free with all TV packages. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to find out more. And then there's different types of needles and pins. And I always put my pins in another container so that I don't end up um, 52 pickup or <laughs> dropping them, spilling them all over. This just kind of helps protect them from being spilt all over. There's different size of pins. Um, these are, these have a little longer stem on them and they're good for um, machine piecing and so forth. Okay. There's different types of needles for your machine. Of course, you can have a machine or you really don't need a machine either. You can also hand stitch if you don't have a machine. And so um, you can have a machine or not. And there's different sizes of needles for your machines. There's different types of needles for your machines. If you're for cotton fabric, um, there's a, a standard for regular fabric. We have heavy duty for like blue jeans or leather. Um, there's also um, what you call red band, which is for like a real fine nylon. There's also um, another weight for polyesters, which is kind of a blunt needle so that it doesn't um, snag your material when it's like a polyester or a silk material. And there's also different types of needles for like hand stitching or piecing. Um, we have um, like this packet here has beading needles. These also have in-betweens, tapestry, embroidery, and cotton darners, which is more for like the machine or like um, tying different quilts. The darners are like a little heavier with a bigger eye and then the embroidery machines are the longer. So there's different types of needles that you can buy for depending on what project that you have. Okay, now then there's also um, where do I get my patterns? You can create your own pattern. You can buy books. There's books, there's magazines, and they also have kits that you can buy um, that have most of the supplies that you'll need. You'll probably just need thread and maybe a few extra pieces. It'll tell you what they don't have in the kit. If, but most of the time they have everything that you need in the kit. And so that's different ways of, um, of trying to find. And you can go online and you can find patterns out there. There's free patterns and then you can print them and then um, cut them accordingly. Valley Telecommunications is pleased to announce that our Technology Solutions Center is fully stocked and open for business. We have a large selection to meet your wants and needs. Some of the items we currently carry are a variety of corded and cordless phones, different brands of tablets such as Kindle Fires and Apple iPads and all the accessories for them, Telecan computers, Epson and HP printers and ink cartridges, Apple iPods and accessories, office supplies, wireless keyboards and mice, cellular phones and accessories, different types of media storage, cameras, headphones, power strips and surge protectors, and much, much more. You can also get your very own Valley Swag. Our prices are reasonable and comparable to any other retail store. If there is something that you want or need that we do not currently carry, please let us know so that we can check into it for you. We accept all major credit cards, cash or check. Please feel free to stop by our office and check out our new and improved store for all of your technology and day-to-day -day business needs. And you can get most of your supplies at the local stores around Walmart, Kmart, Joann's. Um, they're online, you can go buy fabric, all your supplies online, Amazon, wherever you want to go. So there's a variety of places that you can um, buy your supplies, depending on if you can get somewhere or not. Sometimes it's kind of nice to order online and it comes to you. So, um, so first you'll need to decide what project, your pattern, your fabric, what tools you'll need. Um, you gather all your supplies up and then you can do your project. 
So, and there's different um, types of thread. What we have here today, oops. we got um, a polyester thread, and that's you know more for stretchy fabric. Uh, we have the dual duty cotton, which is for cotton, and then we can buy them in this um, this size, or you can buy them in the cone size. You can get these cone size in the different types of fabric or thread. There's rayon thread for like embroidery. Um, depending on what look you want, is um, like for just sewing together pieces for that you're not going to see in the seam line. Do your cotton or poly cotton. Um, if you're wanting to have like a, an embroidery design, then you may want to go with the rayon thread because it's got a little shine to it and it'll make your design look more appealing. So, this, so there's different types of threads that you will need too. And, um, and then there's different stitches. You've got like your straight stitch and you've got a zigzag stitch. On some of these newer machines you have a variety of, of um, different stitches, designs. Um, for the regular um, sewing machine, most of the time you'll just use your straight stitch. So, um, so I just wanted to go over kind of the basic supplies and the basics that you would need for even doing any project. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can always give me a call at 437-2615. Um, thank you for watching our program. If you want to be a host or a guest on the program, let me know. Have a good day. Thank you.